Hi, this is Roland Yarrowboro with Away From It All TV, and thanks so much for hanging with me today. Can you make fire with just a pair of reading glasses and a piece of char cloth? We're going to find out today on Away From It All TV. We've all seen fire making videos where guys take a big magnifying glass, hit some kind of an ember in seconds it ignites, put it in a bird nest, blow it into flame, boom, fire. We love those videos. They're great. I've done that myself hundreds of times. But I've always wondered what would happen if you found yourself in some kind of weird situation where you didn't have a magnifying glass, you didn't have any kind of gear or pack with you, but you had a little eyesight trouble so you had to have a pair of reading glasses like these that are two power and you happen to have a little Ziploc bag full of char cloth in your wallet like I carry around every day, everywhere I go. Could you take these glasses and make fire with that? So to answer that question, what we're gonna do on Away From It All TV today is we're gonna make our own char cloth from scratch. So you kinda of get two videos in one. You get to see how char cloth is made and you get to answer the question, can you make fire with reading glasses? Hey, let's do this. Yeah, I think we're ready now. Uh-huh. Oh, that looks good. <laughs> One hundred percent cotton, very important. Yeah, look at there. We got a we got an ember. <coughs> Go. Fire. All right. Well, now we know. You sure can get an ember as long as you have two power magnifying glasses and a little piece of char cloth you carry around in your wallet everywhere you go and the sun is out and that is good to know you know I will tell you this it took a lot longer to get that ember than it, I had the heart to make you watch on video 
I had to keep moving the camera around because clouds kept passing over. It's real windy out here, as you can hear. And the wind kept blowing the trees, moving the shadows around. It took, a, it took a minute for me to get that thing into the right position. And then when I got there, I had to hold the, the glasses way far away from the char cloth and hold it perfectly still. I want to explain one thing you saw for a minute. It looked like there was a flame coming up off the char cloth right there as I was holding the magnification in place. But that wasn't fire. It was smoke coming up through the little tight shaft of sunlight that the reading glasses were magnifying just before it hit the char cloth. That's a, that's a common thing that happens when you're using solar magnification. If that had been flame, that whole char cloth and bird nest would have gone up just like that. So it took a lot of effort. And you know what? This whole process took a lot of time. I mean, I had to, I had to go get tulip poplar. I had to process it up. I had to make the ember ball. I had to build the fire. I had to find the t-shirt. I had to cut it up. I had to make the char cloth. You saw all that. And I just want to leave you with this thought. You know, sometimes in life, things are a lot more difficult than we thought they were going to be. And sometimes we want to give up. From my heart today, let me encourage you, don't give up. Never say die. Refuse to quit. Whatever you may be dealing with, maybe it's a relationship, your job, a new business you're trying to get going, a book you're trying to write, a music career, a church, whatever you may be dealing with, your walk with God, whatever it is, don't give up. Maybe, maybe just life, maybe having a good attitude or trying to kick a habit or just loving people. Listen, don't give up. If you don't give up, chances are you're going to make it. You just have to persevere. You know, Michael Jordan was cut from his high school basketball team. Think about that. When they ask uh, Thomas Edison, who invented the light bulb, you failed 2,000 times, why don't you quit? He said, oh, I'm closer now than I ever was. I've just learned 2,000 ways it won't work. That helps me figure out that I'm one step closer to knowing how it will work. And I could go on and on with stories like that. The point is, hang in there. Persevere, man. Don't quit. Don't give up. I know it's hard. I know it's difficult. I know it's been a long road. But you know what? If you read the story of the Exodus in the Bible, the children of Israel stopped on the banks of the Jordan River within eyesight of the Promised Land after trekking all the way through the desert. And when they sent those 12 spies in there, they came back and 10 of them said, Oh, we can't do it. There are giants in the land. They have iron chariots. We're like grasshoppers. They'll kill us. And two, Joshua and Caleb said, You know what? We can do it because God is with us. Those 10 spies that were negative, they all perished along with the other generation in the desert. You know who the only two people out of that whole generation were that got to go in the promised land? Joshua and Caleb. The guys who said, with God's help, we can do this. They stopped on the banks of the Jordan River within eyesight and they stayed there 40 years. Man, don't let that happen to you. Hang tight, hang tough, refuse to quit, persevere. You'll get there. Well, this is Roland Yarborough with Away From It All TV and thanks so much for watching today. Hit the like button, share the video. Hey, please subscribe to our channel, Away From It All TV. And you know what? You need to get out there, take somebody with you. Get away from it all, where dreams are restored in God's great outdoors. This is Roland Yarborough, and I'll be back with another video just as soon as I can. God bless you. Hi, I'm Roland Yarborough. Thanks for hanging with me today. Uh. Hi, I'm Roland Yarborough with Away From It All TV, and thanks so much for hanging out with me today. You know, I've all... You know, we've all seen videos of guys with big, high-powered magnifying glasses, high-quality lenses out in the sun, making fire, starting to... Well, now we know for sure you can get an ember with a pair of two-power reading glasses, a piece of char cloth, and above all things, get out there. Take somebody with you. Get away from it all where dreams are restored in God's great outdoors. <laughs> well, this is Roland Yarlborough with Away From It Alt. Ah, Yarlborough. Tiny shaft of sunlight that the lens was magnifying just as, just as you get before the charcoal, just before the... <laughs>